So I've had a lot of people requesting information on how to use completion rules in Schoology and have due dates on those same assignments. And I've always been puzzled by this because for me it's always seemed to work. And then this weekend I had sort of an epiphany. And then I figured out that it's because the first year I used completion rules was the second year I used Schoology. And I'd already put the completion rules on the assignments. And so putting due dates on them when I'm pulling them back in from my course from last year made it a lot easier. So I'm going to show you a trick so that you can do that on your courses right now. So I'm going to import some rules. I'm going to come down here and create them so they show up here at the top by using the green line shortcut. I'm going to import from resources. And the first ones I'm going to bring in is I'm going to bring in this set down at the bottom. This is a set that has no completion rules on them. And when I import them, I have this advanced option on here to go in and put due dates on them. So I'm going to quickly go into the due dates here and put them in, and then I'll kind of speed this part up. So now my things have imported in the, the folder here. I'm just going to go into this folder by clicking on it. Now you're going to see these all have these due dates that I just put on them. But if I go in here with the option of saying, I want to do completion rules, and then I start adding requirements, you're going to see as soon as I do that, due dates will be removed. And sure enough, if I go in here and say, let me say you must make a submission. Let me say, and I, I sh shorten these up to make these just all um, you know, different ones, but this has also got mixed in also some um, lectures as well. But as soon as I do this, it's going to delete all the rules or all the due dates. So we don't want that. So I'm just going to cancel this out of here. I'm going to go back to my sandbox and I'm going to delete this set out. Okay. Or if you've already created yours in a course, add your completion rules and save it to resources. And I want to show you why. I'm going to delete this one now. And if that one's deleted, I'm going to use this plus arrow here because that puts it this new things in right where I want them. And I'm not sure what happened just then. I'm going to add from my resources. I'm going to scroll back down again. I'm going to grab that set that already in my resources has the rules on it. I'm going to import this in. And when I say import, it's going to again give me that advanced options of putting on these due dates. Okay. And I want to say these are different ones that I used last time, I think, but I'm just going to just add some dates here randomly to kind of run through this for you. Now I'm importing, so it'll take a little bit. Now, once that's in there, what you're going to see is I can see the completion rules are already on there. I'm going to jump in here and you're going to see, look, they must make a submission. They must view this item, but they also have those due dates that I put in. So they are on there. In the past, what I've been doing is bringing in from last year's, they had last year's dates on them. All I would do would be to change the dates. And then if I double check the rules, it would let me put the dates back on. And in case you're wondering, will this work with link sections? Yes, this is my regular Western Star class, not my sandbox class. But you're going to see in here, this is a one due from uh, back earlier in the year. Um, lately, I've changed them all to just at midnight. Um, but, but other times, they were due at class time. So if you look at this one here, you're going to see these are due on different due dates for the different sections. But you're going to see that they all have different times that they're due. There it is. Uh, Wednesday at 9.48, same date, different times, three sections. Usually I do them about three to five minutes into class time to say, hey, if you didn't get them done, don't forget, you've got to get those submitted. So it is possible to use completion rules with due dates. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.